News 8 is your local election headquarters, and this evening another one of the five Republicans running for governor is digging into his own pocket to fund his campaign. Public campaign funding still on hold, and time is running out for former Navy officer and digital entrepreneur Steve Obsitnik. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joining us live with more on this tonight. Good evening, Mark. Hi, Scott and Ann. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. The name of the game in primary elections is to get your name out there before the public and then hope that people will listen to what you have to say. Shortly before last night's Republican debate began at Mohegan Sun, Steve Upsitnik got the bad news that the State Elections Enforcement Commission had again failed to act on his application for the Citizens' Elections Program funding. Mark Boughton began his TV ads last week. Tim Herps this week. Both Herps and Boughton are using state grants. David Stemmerman has been running TV ads for weeks. Bob Stefanowski for months. Both of them are spending their own money. Because of that, sources say Upsitnik is trailing all four in polling among potential Republican primary voters. Knowing he can't wait any longer to get his name out there, he too is now spending his own money. Hello, I'm Hartford career politician. And I'm Steve Upsitnik, a Navy veteran and high-tech job creator. Upsitnik says most Republican voters are sick of career politicians, so he hired a goofy commercial actor to play one on his first TV spot. He says he will use his own resources now to compete. I'm not a finance billionaire, right? But, but we, I believe, and my wife and I believe strong in this campaign, that we'll have the resources uh, to be competitive. Upsetnik says his campaign has complied with every request from the Citizens' Election Program, but says several of his small contributions have been disqualified with no explanation, so he's pushing on. Hopefully with the, uh, the CEP grant, and I, we've been led to believe that next Wednesday we'll be on the docket uh, for that, but if not, we'll bring the resources, and I put my own money um, at risk now. Now, TV viewing is traditionally lower this time of the year. People on vacations, they stay out later in the evening because there's a lot more daylight, uh, which can mean that you actually have to buy more commercials in order to get the same amount of name recognition. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.